Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. My name is Was, and this is a beginner's guide to EVE Online. If I went back and started over or started a new character, this is exactly what I would do. Before we dive in, I want to thank you in advance for liking and subscribing this video if you liked it and if you want to subscribe. And also, don't forget, before you click off this video, claim your 1 million free skill points in the description below. Let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing you're presented with here is what faction to choose. There's nothing crazy about this. Don't overcomplicate it. If you start out with one faction and later you decide you don't like them and want to move into a different part of space, you can always relocate your ships. There's plenty of relocation services out there, little mini businesses that are actually ran by players, and they will happily haul your stuff for you. And that might even be what you're into. Who knows? So for this, we're going to choose whichever one uh, is best. And that has to be Amar. Amar is best. There's, there's no reason. It's just, I mean, look at that. Wow. Do I need to say more? This shows you some of the ships that you can fly, their offense and defense, and some of their politics, who their empire enemy is, and their pirate enemy. Just a little bit of background for you. We go in here, none of this matters. You can choose whatever style you like, whoever you want to pick, whatever bloodline you want, it doesn't really matter. We're going to pick this guy. Customize your person however you want it. And finally, before you dive into the game, you have to name your character and choose your education. This really just determines what you want your character's background to be and what station that they're going to start at, but has no major impact on the game whatsoever. Once you create your character, they're going to push you right in the tutorial. It's action packed, it helps you learn the basics, and it's a great starting point for new players. I would highly recommend completing the tutorial if you've taken a break from the game or if you're brand new to the game. Do it to get a little bit of an understanding about your UI and how to pilot your ship. Once you're out of the tutorial, take Take some time and go through your UI. Understand what each of these buttons leads to, what your shortcuts are, and how to navigate your Neocom. And this this is the Neocom. Even, even, <laughs> even more options for you. So many options. Go through them all and understand a little bit of what they do just to get a basic understanding of it. While you're navigating your Neocom and looking at all these buttons over here, you may have come across your settings. Go through your settings. Make it optimized for your machine. Something I would recommend is going into this camera tab getting rid of camera shake, camera bobbing. I invert my zoom direction, so when I scroll up, it goes in towards my character. I scroll towards me and it goes out. I feel like that's going out. Adjust this to however you want. Go in here, dueling, auto reject invitations. You'll be spammed with a request to duel. If you blow up your ship in a duel, if you lose, other people can loot your body. So it's just PVP that's allowed. So do it whenever you want to, but I'd recommend turning this off and going through the rest of these settings and fitting them to your needs right now and later revisiting them once you have a grasp on Eve and what you like and what you don't like. Look at the settings, see if it's something you can change. Once you're out of the tutorial, you're gonna be guided to meet with your career agents. You can access this by clicking on the agency, going to agent and missions, and clicking on career agents. I would highly recommend completing all five of these. They all have a few missions, maybe up to 10 missions each. I know some of them have less. But you get free ISK, free ships, and free modules to help kickstart your journey into EVE Online. So when you start doing your career agent missions, you'll likely need to start researching some skills to be able to fly the ships they want you to fly, or equip the modules they want you to equip. In order to do so, click the circle up here right under your character portrait. What I would recommend is whether you're Kaldari, Galente, Minmatar, or Mar, choose your faction here, it'll likely already be chosen for you. Look at their skills, look at what it wants you to research, and just start researching it. Let's say you wanted to start as an enforcer doing some of the PvE activities. I'd recommend hopping in here and start researching some of these skills. Just start training. Doing this will help you fly the ships that you want to fly, and relatively quickly you'll research quite a few skills to get your hands on some good modules and ships. And just to recap so far, you've completed the tutorial, you've gone through, looked at your settings, looked at your Neocom and all your buttons there, and you've completed your five career agent programs. Again, I would recommend doing all of these because of the ships and the modules and the ISK that you get. Next up is the Air Career Program. The Air Career Program lies right underneath your skills, this little circle with the four dots, and has these four different paths. You have the Enforcer, which is your PvE side of EVE. I would recommend going through and doing all of these. Get up to at least these 750 career points that it shows right here. As you complete these tasks, you'll slowly start progressing this bar along the bottom, and you'll unlock some additional skill points. This is the next step after Career Agent Missions, and this really gives you a surface level view of all the activities in 
in EVE Online. Well, most all of them. But this is where I would start. Definitely start here after the career agent missions. Find out which path you want to do first and go with it. See if you enjoy it and it could be your activity to do while you want to take a break from any of these other activities. Let's say you really enjoy the Enforcer side, but you're working on your exploration tasks here. After completing Enforcer, you have a good understanding of most of the PvE activities in EVE and you can go ahead and do those at your leisure and then come back to Explorer, Industrialist, Soldier of Fortune whenever you're ready. And as you can see here, the very first thing up at the top is the career agent missions. On this tune, since I haven't really progressed them very far, it's suggesting that I start with those, and then you could do security agent missions. And then you have Abyssal Dead Space, Combat, Bounties, Combat Sites, Epic Arcs, Market, Standings, Loyalty Points. All the things that are important to a PvE player in EVE Online, and even non-PvE players. If you play PvP, you're going to find yourself needing to do some of these activities in the Enforcer tab in order to improve your standings so you don't get shot when you go to the big trade hubs. Exploration has a lot to do with scanning, hacking, you have advanced hacking here which takes place in low sec, null sec, and wormhole space, wormholes, gas sites, combat sites, navigation, advanced navigation, and project discovery. The Industrialist walks you through the 10 career agent missions for the Industrialist, market activities, salvaging, resource harvesting, refining, manufacturing, distribution agents, mining agents, and research. This is great because EVE Online is a giant sandbox game, so everything in the game, with the exception of a few things, can be made by the players. So if you want to fund your corporation's wars, if you want to salvage, if you want to reprocess things and help make money for your corporation or for you, if you want to build your own ships even, this would be a great path for you. Soldier of Fortune is mostly the player interaction <laughs> style of, uh, of gameplay, mostly PvP. You're going to have a lot of social things here. Social, send a message in chat, join a fleet, join a corporation, send an EVE mail and add a contact. Electronic Warfare, you have to use your electronic warfare on another capsule here's ships. You have Combat, PvP, Capacitor Warfare, Faction Warfare, Support Skills, Destruction, and Duels. If you turned off Auto Reject Invites to Duels, then you'll want to turn that back on so that you can get invites again. Again and, and take place in these duels and once you're done with all of that now what well if you did the social part of the soldier of fortune you probably joined a corporation and by now hopefully have an okay understanding of what you think you enjoy it's okay to start out with one activity and change to a different activity in the future if you train a bunch of skill points into certain skills for one of these activities or for mining and you find you really like pvp then eventually you can take those skill points and extract them from your character and put them into pvp skills there's plenty of guides on how to go from an alpha account to a subscription based omega account by using in-game currency I'd recommend checking those out if you're interested in that. There's plenty of deals where CCP puts sales on either buying the subscription with in-game money or buying it with real money, so there's plenty of times for you to buy that at a discount. Join a corporation, see what they like, see what they do, join one that does what you like to do, and figure out how you can support that corporation to help them take over EVE. Again, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I would do if I was starting today. I'd go through those steps that I mentioned in this video. It isn't a very, very detailed guide. There's plenty of videos, and I'm going to make future videos with more detail on these aspects of EVE, but until then, figure out what you like to do. Go through the tutorial, go through the air career program and the career agent missions, and just figure it out. Just figure out what you like to do. Many people dedicate specific tunes to certain activities, so if you want to have one tune just for mining and have another one for PvE, another one for PvP, or use all three of them in one specific activity, you are more than welcome to do so. That is a norm in EVE Online to have multiple accounts doing the activities you enjoy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video. Again, if you liked the video, then please drop a like. If you want to subscribe to see more of this content in the future, then do that. And again, before you click off this video, don't forget to claim your 1 million free skill points in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.